Pastas grow in a variety of heights, shapes, sizes. Some are ground covers and produce lots of new little crowns, and some just produce a few large crowns, and you can't really make as many of those when you're dividing them as you can with a variety like this. You can also look at the number of old flower stems. For every one of these, like right here, there's five flower stems. For every one of these, you could make at least one plant. All you need to do is just take your shovel and go down, and if the soil is great, you can just lift them just like this. It's that easy. And then what I usually do is take the back of a shovel and gently pull off any old roots that don't look great. And I also loosen the soil. Now, there's a couple ways that you could divide this. You could divide this plant sort of in clumps. If the plant is a little younger and not too old, you can almost pull apart some of these plants. And so I've got one, two, three, four, and this would be five, six. And I'm going to lay them right down here so you can see the specific plants and really how many that you could make from just a section of your grouping. And then you're ready to plant them right back in the ground. There's a different way that you can divide and propagate some of your hosta. Let's say you've got this huge, nice, giant hosta with big leaves. What we find is when we dig them and divide them, it takes a couple years to get those big leaves again. So let's say you've got a, a relative, a friend, a neighbor who really likes one of your hostas and you want to share one of these with them. Instead of digging the whole plant, you can go in and find a good place just to dig a section of that plant. We also can do this with peonies. It's another plant you can just dig maybe a fifth of the plant and share it. So what you want to do is look at the base of the plant and see where there are some natural separations. And what I find here is that this plant has a natural separation right here. So you take your shovel and once you find that spot, you then can go ahead and dig straight down. You probably have to dig the uh, probably maybe two or three times around this plant because in this case, you're not going to really shake the soil off because we're not dividing it. We're just digging a section of the plant. And then I'm going to come around here on this side and then do the same thing. Try to get a little bit of that root ball and not damage the plant. So I'm gonna come right here. And then when I dig this plant up, this is what I'm gonna have. Nice root ball. I might take a little bit of the soil off here. And this plant is ready to be put right in the garden. Keep in mind, the height of the plant is how far apart it should be from another plant so they look great in the garden and they don't become overcrowded. The other recommendation is to go ahead and cut all the foliage off when you're getting ready to plant this little mini clump. I'm Mark Viette. Join me next time in the garden. For more garden tips, go to indogardenradio.com.